And I think the timing mm -hmm. is just excellent that the city is doing this while we're starting our projects. So we're making sure we're coordinating. And one thing we want to do, there are a lot of people that are working on issues involving race and racial disparities and racial justice. And we're not looking to supersede them. We're looking actually, how do we support that? Exactly. Right. And how do we bring some of the resources, the tremendous resources that the university has uh, mm -hmm. in doing that? So gentlemen, um, with the, the little time we have left, tell me what you hope to achieve out of all this. What do you want to see when all is said and done, Frank? Well, there's several things. One is we want to have a better understanding of our history and a shared understanding of that history. So right now, it's, it's a very segmented understanding. Mm -hmm. the, and, and there's different members of the black community, but the, the families that have been here a long time have a certain understanding that's very different than people that have come here more recently, mm -hmm. which is very different right. from people in the university. And then once we understand some of those truths, um, what, can we take action based on those? So the names of buildings, you know, those cause hurt in the community. For, like what, for instance? Well, Jordan Hall, for instance, uh, okay. named after someone who was mm -hmm. a notorious eugenicist mm -hmm. um, yeah. that's at the medical center. And um, we're not saying you need to get rid of that, but we should understand why that means that. And should there be something that explains you know, more of that history. One of our participants says, we need to complicate that history because it is complicated. Wow. We're also looking at um, what can we do uh, to uh, engage university and community members. So we're starting a course um, that's gonna actually have university students understand better this history, but also do some research because it's not necessarily available for everybody. And then we're also looking at these issues of housing and um, yeah. healthcare and so forth. And are there are there things that you know, people in the university um, can do, and there are things that faculty can do, students can do, staff can do, and then also the administration can do, mm -hmm. be because some of those are a legacy, still right. an existing legacy uh, of that. Okay, how about you, Maurice? Well, I, I, I certainly agree with Frank in terms of a better understanding of our history. Um, mm -hmm. One of the ideas that, that we've been kicking around on the steering committee is, you know, um, at, through this process, how do we how do we make sure that folks, um, um, especially younger folks, understand the history right. uh, here in Charlottesville, and and then also are part of, of changing things for the future. And so we've talked about um, putting together um, some sort of um, publication that um, high school students would mm -hmm. would have a chance to read and and. And, and learn from. Um, I think that on big picture, um, we hope to see a better understanding of each other in our community. Mm -hmm. We hope to see more minorities involved with uh, community activities. Right. Um, one of the concerns that we have with um, uh, city council is a lack of minority representation when we're talking about really important issues mm -hmm. uh, here in the community um, and a lack of minority representation on boards and commissions. So we right. hope that by bridging the gap a little bit, um, by having a better understanding of each other and by reaching out to the African, uh, the African American community and the Latino community, that they'll become more involved with what's going on in, in their city government. And that actually everyone will become more involved with what's going on here in, in Charlottesville. Um, I, I think ultimately um, what we want to see, and this gets back to one of the questions you asked earlier about, um, um, about what's gonna be different about this versus others, is that yeah. it, with this dialogue, we hope to see action in the end. Action. And we haven't necessarily okay. seen that at a previous attempts to do that. And so ultimately that will be the, the, the true test of whether or not this is successful is a year or two from now, if you can start to say, well, this has happened mm -hmm. as a result of the ideas that came out of the, out of the dialogue. Right. A lot of folks ask me now, well, specifically what's gonna happen? I have no idea, right. um, mm -hmm. and I shouldn't. Um, this this is really coming out of the community and, and this, these community discussions. And so two years from now, we'll be in a better position to say, here's what we were able to accomplish as a result of the dialogue on race.